Cut on camera. Flames erupting from a plane heading to the valley. You know, a lot of people closing their eyes and trying to text their loved ones. But it was a little scary, the flight. <laughs> While trying to get home to Phoenix from Columbus, Ohio, both Greg Carfagna and Tyler Tuckness were passengers on American Airlines Flight 1958 Sunday morning. A disaster struck the plane shortly after takeoff. There was a, like a bang uh, came from the right side of the airplane. You could see where the birds hit. Um, it wasn't all that pleasant. Flames could be seen erupting from the engine on the right side. The sounds of loud popping filling the cabin. Even those on the ground could see and hear the fiery scene as the plane flew overhead. The whole time I was fairly confident, um, but it was definitely scary. Like you don't know what's going to happen for sure. Despite the scary situation, both Carfania and Tuckness say that those on board had faith in the pilots as they had to turn back to the Columbus airport. Everyone was pretty good spirits. And of course, when we landed, everyone cheered and, uh, you know, thanking the pilots and the, the flight attendants. We all kind of, we, we try to keep it light. There's definitely some jokes going around about it. American Airlines releasing this statement. The flight landed normally and taxied safely to the gate under its own power. The aircraft was taken out of service for maintenance. The airline going on to say, safety is our top priority and we thank our customers for their understanding. Sky Harbor's baggage claim was full of hugs and smiles as the new flight 1958 landed in the afternoon, with everyone glad to be back home. It was all good, but very scary. It's definitely been a very long day, for sure. It's, it's nice to be home. So the FAA is currently investigating, and if you're wondering just how often bird strikes happen, according to the FAA, they happen about 13,000 times a year to American aircraft alone, with only less than 1% causing significant damage. Michael and Emma. All right, Stephen Sarabia, live for us.